Hi, welcome to Rich's Methods. I'm Rich. Uh, thank you for checking out my channel. Uh, today is going to be another installment in my headphone video series. In this video, I'm going to show how to connect a plug, a 1 8 inch or 3.5 millimeter plug to a stereo headphone set. This is a TRS 1, 1 8 inch 3.5 millimeter uh, plug. So it's either 1 8 inch or 3.5 millimeter, depending on where you buy it. I bought this specific one at Radio Shack. Uh, I'll zoom in on it later in the video in just like a minute. Uh, and this is a gold-plated plug. It's a very good plug. And what's nice about this is that it uses screws to hold the wires in place, so there's no soldering. And this is my preferred plug when I want to replace plugs on a headphone set. Uh, you might recognize this plug from an earlier video that I made of just a picture of the plug itself. And I had a lot of people ask me to show how to connect this plug to the wire, so I thought I would do that real quickly for you guys. Uh, I got this at Radio Shack. Again, it's the Gold Series 1 8 inch stereo plug. Uh, this is about four or five bucks, and it's a lot easier to connect than the plugs that you solder. Uh, what you're going to need today for the, to do the project would be a pair of jeweler screwdrivers, uh, specifically the Phillips screwdriver set. I got these at the Dollar Tree for about a dollar. You can easily find these at any uh, department store. A pair of wire strippers, uh, a lighter to burn off the enamel like I showed in my other videos, and of course the broken set of headphones. Uh, you know if there is a short in the wire itself, if at the plug you bend the plug back and forth and the sound goes in and out as you bend the wire back and forth. Okay, let's get started. <clears throat> so here's the 1 8 inch 3.5 millimeter stereo plug that I got at Radio Shack. Uh, you can get this online on Amazon if you just search for a 1 8 inch plug. Just make sure that it's the screw retain type uh, and it probably would be in the description somewhere on the uh, link. Uh, and I could probably put a link at the bottom of the video in the description as well to help you out to Radio Shack as well as maybe to Amazon so you guys could find this plug. This is what the plug looks like once it's out of the packaging. You can see it's a very simple looking plug. It has this nice uh, gold spring protector at the back so that it'll prevent another short from occurring. And what's really neat is that you just twist this housing off to reveal the connectors on the inside. Make sure that you save this plastic tubing. This will be something that you put over top of all the wires at the very end of the video to prevent any crosstalk with this housing. So that's very important that you put this plastic housing on the wire first and then connect the wire to the plug and you'll, you'll see that later in the video. Okay, so here is the broken plug. I suggest cutting the plug perhaps about three inches away from the original plug. That way if there is a short, it most likely is occurring between here and the, the plug itself. That way you're cutting out any bad wire in between. I might even go a little further up just to be safe. The wire can be split into two. Most, most headphones are set up this way. You can pull it apart with your finger if you'd like. There I got the wire split. I'm just going to pull down so that I got enough to play with here at the bottom. And that way you have the two wires. One would be your right and one would be your left. Next you're going to have to strip away this black coating away from the wire on both of these. So I'm going to do that real quickly with the wire stripper. I would probably remove about maybe about a half inch or so. Okay, so now I got the wire stripped, the black wire cover stripped away from the wires itself to expose the internal wires. You're going to notice one has a, a red color wire, which is right here, and a copper colored. There might be some of this white fuzzy kind of thread-like material. That's just insulation. Don't worry about that. You can just cut that off if you want. It's not necessary after you took it apart. So. Just disregard that and cut it off. The other side will have a copper wire as well and a blue or green colored wire which is shown here. So these on the right is the red wire which is this one and on the left earplug you have the green or the blue wire which is this one. I'd recommend putting this insulator as well as the housing on the wires. Uh, I wait to put these on because they're going to flap around and move around but if you want you can put them on right away. Do not forget to do this because if you connect this Without putting this stuff on, you're going to have to take everything back apart again and then put these on. So what I would do is I would first put the housing on. Let's get your wires even, or make them even. Kind of get them together kind of slightly. 
And if this spring housing comes out, stick, simply just put it back in place. You want to hold the housing. And I probably would do the wires one at a time if you don't feel comfortable doing both, but you could easily just do both. You just pull it through. Okay, so now that's on. You can move that back. And now next you want to put that insulator on over top. Next, we're going to burn away this colored enamel from this wire using a lighter. So just be very careful that you don't hurt yourself, but I'm just going to simply take a lighter and just burn off the enamel. And then you might want to take a little piece of sandpaper and just kind of rub this extra soot off. Try not to burn the enamel too far down. I don't know if you can see on the video, but I left from my thumb to my other thumb about that much of the enamel covering. That way, when you're connecting this, there's not any, there won't be any crosstalk with the, the ground or the other wires. It just keeps it a little bit more insulated, so try not to burn the whole amount off. And I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side with the red wire. And next, I'm going to connect the two grounds together, the two copper-colored wires together. A good tip is, once you get these ground wires uh, twisted together, might be a good idea, so make sure they're, they're tightly wound together. And it might be a good idea just to take a lighter and just to burn the insula any insulation that might be on there as well as any enamel that might be on there. It also helps to kind of melt them together so that you get a better connection between the two. Um, because this is one of the spots where uh, when, once you're all done it might not be working and this is a, a good way to help prevent that. And again, you want to remove that soot that got on there with some sandpaper or rubbing alcohol or I'm just using my finger here, not that I recommend it, but just something to get that off there. So let's take a look at the new plug itself. In the middle here, you'll see where I'm pointing. This small connector is going to get the green wire. The next connector, the next larger connector on the side here, is going to get the red. And then the biggest one is the ground. And these correspond with the different parts of the plug. So the ground, which was this biggest one, is this part of the TRS plug. So it stands for tip, ring, and sleeve. The ground is on the sleeve. The red, which is the second one down, is the ring, which is this part. And the tip is this small connector here, and that goes to this area, and that's the green wire. Later in the video, uh, not to confuse you, but I might show, I might be putting the red wire onto this connector and I did that by accident. So I just wanted to let you know that ahead of time. But you're gonna put the green wire on the small connector, the red on the, the, the larger one, and then the largest one gets the copper. Okay, so I loosened all the plugs on the connectors here. I loosened all the screws so that I can gain a little access with the wire in between there on, on all three of them. And I'm gonna start by connecting green the red wire at the bottom. So we all know that a screw tightens by turning to the right or clockwise. So I don't know if you can see, I put a little loop in the wire in a clockwise direction so that that way when I'm tightening it down, it kind of pulls it tight with it. And there it's hooked. And now I'm just gonna carefully tighten that down. Try to push any strands up around it so that it's not sticking out to make it a clean connection. And then next, you could do the ground or you can do the green Red wire. I think I'll do the ground on the big connector here, being that it's so close. So I just did the same thing with the ground. I wrapped it in a clockwise direction and tightened the screw down. And now finally, I'm going to do Red the green wire. wire to that middle second connector here, which is the one that's the second highest up. Okay, and just give everything a final tighten just to make sure everything's nice and secure. And I would just go around it very carefully, make sure there's no strand wires sticking out that are connecting with the other connectors because then I'll prevent it from working. And also make sure that you didn't bend the connectors because these do bend a little bit, that they're not touching each other. So next, before you actually put the housing back on it, I like to test them and make sure they work. Just play, plug them into your phone or to any music player and just test, put it in your ear. 
and they are both working. Uh, one thing to troubleshoot this if you're still having issues with it, um, make sure that the screws are tightened down very tightly uh, because if not, it, you need those wires to be making connection with that gold connector. If they're not, then it's not going to work. So now that you know that it works, you can take those housings that you added in the beginning and take the insulator part first and carefully slide it over top just like so and then take the gold housing and then that just screws on over place over top of it and one last time I'm just going to give it a try and they're both working that's awesome. And now you just fixed your pair of headphones with a $5 headphone plug. And it's very easy to put on. Hey everybody, thank you for watching my video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below in the comments section. I check my comments weekly and I try to get back to as many people as I can. Uh, I'm just glad to help you guys out. Uh, if not, I will see you on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Bye.